we have three different increments that we can make use of when we are using the nudge feature within Reason 10. Now the first is if I go ahead and select a note here by clicking once, I can hold control and then use the right or left arrow on the QWERTY keyboard to move the position of this note. And this is going to move in relation to whatever our snap value is set to up above. So right now we're on 16th notes. So if I hold control and use the arrows, then we move within 16th note increments. Now, if I were to hold control and shift, then we are going to move in beats. So we are working within two bars right now, where this is bar two, and then bar three begins here, and we are on four, four times, so we have four beats within each bar. So this is beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. And then holding control and shift, we move on those different beats. Now the last increment that we can move in is within ticks. And this is gonna be very precise and hard to see, but if you take note of the inspector up above here, this last field represents our ticks. So this first field represents our bar, which bar we're on, and that's bar two. We can see we're on bar two up above. Then this is the third beat. So we've got beat one, beat two, and beat three. And then this next one represents the 16th note. We're on the first 16th note of beat three. This last field is ticks. And there's 240 ticks within each 16th note subdivision here. So that's gonna be very precise when we're making use of this last, last method. So if I were to hold Control and Alt and then use the arrow key, the right arrow key, I'm nudging this. And again, just take note of the tick field within the inspector. You can see the numbers changing there. And then we can also see our MIDI note gradually moving along within the uh, edit view there. Now I'll hold the left arrow and then push that back towards its original position. And we can see that gradual movement. Now keep in mind that on some laptops, using the control plus alt and right and left arrow keys may rotate your screen position. So you, if you're gonna make use of this uh, particular key combination within Reason 10, you may need to uh, disable the shortcut keys within the graphics card properties on your laptop.